if you're trying to get your little one to recognize his or her name and you're really struggling, you don't know what to do, I have a great idea for you today. It'll be fun. Something fun for you to create and something that your little one can participate and they will learn their name. A lot of education is about repetition and some of our little ones need more repetition than others. Think of yourself. Maybe when you went to drive a car, you hopped right in, you knew what to do, and nobody really had to tell you. You just watched. And other kids, I've seen kids wait till they're in their late 20s before they have the confidence to get on the road by themselves in the car because they just aren't sure of themselves and they need more repetition. That's just life. We're all different. So if you have a little one and you're trying to think of a way to help them, or if you're a teacher, homeschool mom, this is for you. Now, normally my videos are about how to make money online. And actually you can stick around too as well because we're using the uh, Canva program and we're gonna make some name tags for our children. I'll show you how you can make a little these little cards that they will have fun. Um, things that are their favorite items. I'll show you that in a moment. But if you're here to make money, you can create these and make a template and sell them on Etsy. I'm always about making digital products that you can download somewhere to sell or you can upload them to, to sell. Etsy is a great platform. So if you're into that and you're looking for ideas, then this is for you as well. Let's head over to Canva. If you've never been there before, I do have a link below. It is a free trial. So it's gonna give you all what we call the pro account. The pro account is only like $15 a month as of this video. And if you don't like the pro account, there is a free account. The only difference is the pro account allows you to um, have files to file all of your pictures and images and, and logos and things like that. It, so if you find out that you're using a lot, it's worth it just for the filing system, but it also has a lot of images and templates and different fonts and things that the other account doesn't have. So start out with that, see if you like it. Let's go over there to Canva and let's get started. All right, so this is a name tag that I made and my granddaughter's name is Sophie and I actually am teaching her to read. She's four years old. And one of the things we're trying to teach her is how to, um, rec she does recognize her name, but we need to get her name in front of her all the time so she can keep writing her name. And I know that can get redundant for her mother and for her. So I thought, well, I'm gonna make these little cards. I actually made these cards as, um, place cards for the Thanksgiving table. So I do have a template for that. But after I made one for Sophie, I thought I called her mom and I said, what are some of her favorite things? So I'm going to make eight different cards that she can fold, put them on the table and color them in. And, and each day she can pick out her favorite. Now, of course, so one of Sophie's favorite things is mermaids. So you can see over here to the left that I went under elements and I I went under Cartoon Mermaid after several attempts. Some of them weren't quite what I wanted for a four-year-old. So I finally found one that I really like a lot. So I'm gonna pull this down. Um, what you wanna do when you're making a template, you can use all of mine, but what you would have to do is just go in and change the name. So you're, you would just go in and type um, back, just hit back like that, and then retype the name in, okay? So whoever your little, little one is, um, that's very simple. As far as changing what you want to put on their cards, what I would do is take the top card like this one. I've already made this one for Sophie. So what I did is I deleted it and now I have a blank card. Now I'm, I want eight new cards. So I'm just going to go up here and hit duplicate and all of my cards. I think I should end up at 10. Yes. Okay. So each of my cards are going to have uh, a different design. And let me give you an example. Oh, I forgot to take that leaf off. Okay. So when you go to delete, just right click and hit delete or, or another way would be to highlight it and hit delete on your keyboard. Both ways work. Okay. So I want to put this little mermaid on there and it's a little bit more appropriate for my four-year-old. And I wanted it to be outlined because I want her to be able to color it. I want her to be able to, now see this one, um, I'm gonna put Sophie off to the side and I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go up here to the font and maybe bring it down. And there you go. Now Sophie can color that. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make name cards out of them that she can each day have her favorite one in front of her when she's doing her work. She loves to sit and cook or she loves to sit and cut. I mean, she'll take a piece of paper and cut it in a million pieces like confetti, but that will be her special work 
card for the day and every day she can get excited because her name is in front of her i'm going to make a few more and then i'll, I'll show you what they are um, i'm not going to have you go through all this but for instance let's do one together i was going to make a snowman on one because winter's coming up snowman and remember you want to say outline just because i want to have her color it and so there you go you have all kinds of cute little snowmen you know you can get very simple a little bit more complicated now for those of you who've never been here that that little crown is the pro account so if you're in a free account you might oh i don't see any here i don't have a free account this one looks like it's free this one here but most of the outlines are not you can always go to google and bring in your image from google but you have to make sure that it's not licensed but you can add things other other things you just come over here to upload and you upload it from your browser from your desktop okay so i'm going to pick this one i think it's nice and elementary and we'll put a big snowman and again it looks like i have to move her name over it looks like i'm gonna have to keep making her name a little smaller but that's okay and there you go and then see she can draw snow snowflakes whatever she wants i know she will all right and there was another favorite we're gonna do a ballerina she likes ballerinas But I just want you to keep seeing how easy this is to switch out. Now I do have ballerina, did I spell it wrong? Ballerina, you'll know when you, <laughs> don't get your picture. And I want an outline again. I want her to be able to color it in. So maybe this time we'll put the ballerina on the other side just to, for something to, oh, we gotta get rid of that leaf, don't we? I think I left it on the one before this, nope. Okay, so again, she can color it And the ballerina can go right there very very easy so i'm going to now what i want to show you i'm going to go ahead and finish the other pictures that were some of her favorites and then i'm going to show you how you're going to print it off um, and put it onto a word document so be back in like two seconds even though it's going to be longer than that I have all my templates made, but I wanted to show you if you want to put the child's name on the other side of the card, or if you want to flip an image, this image here, I can just hit the flip up here and flip it horizontally and I can go either way. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that. And if you want to make the font smaller, you could do that. If you want to make another one, you can hit control C, control V, and you can put a couple of them on there. I wanted this to stand a little bit straighter so down here at the bottom you can also rotate it if you'd like and i just want to make one big snow uh, candy cane for the holidays so just want to show you that you can manipulate these are very 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 basic designs canva does so much more but as a beginner these are great things to do to help you get started and excited about using the program now i want to show you some of the things that we did these were a list that i came up with her mother there's her candy cane we did a flower um, cat very simple i want her to color them in with her pencils or her watercolors baby jesus since christmas is coming and we have her ballerina and her snowman and her mermaid and i'm not going to put the pumpkin on this sheet because like i said i've already made her that one you're going to actually download all of this so i'm going to download everything into one folder so you hit the share at the top and then you're going to scroll down and i'm going to download everything will be in a folder and i'm going to show you also you're probably thinking well you have nine things there but why does it say 10 i'm going to show you in a minute it's going to go into a, a compressed folder on your desktop after you do that i do want you to notice i have a blank in here and the reason i did that is when i go to word i'm going to put the blank and then put the name under it so the blank on each page there'll be four and then four tags so it's going to be two pages to print off but then when i go to cut i'll have the outline the first time i made these i didn't have my outlines and it's kind of hard to cut and be even i did go into canva and i tried to measure the template as a two by four inch but it came out like a bookmark so if you've been on here longer than me you may you may be able to do all that but this is a workaround for me and it has worked very well so now i'm going to take everything that i've downloaded to my desktop and i'm going to put it on word and i'll show you how i do that all right i've opened the word document and i've already made these for thanksgiving so i'm just i just uh, saved it as sophie's name daily name cards 
when you drag over the template the new one watch what happens it goes kind of wonky see everything disappears what that did i know it has her name on it it went way to the bottom see and what you have to do is right click and go under wrap text and hit tight and then you can move that card wherever you want it and normally after you do that it goes back up to the top and there's a place for it right there i'm going to give you this template that has sophie's name on it so that you can see all the squares are already lined up for you but what you have to do is go in and delete hers and put yours in and like i said it like right here says grandma on this name tag i'm going to delete it now i'm going to bring in number five now watch it's going to go to the bottom and you're going to go where did everything go and you're just going to slide down it all lines up in the end i promise just take it one at a time we've already oh i already did that one okay so i got to delete that one Oop, hurry up and delete it let's do number six i already did the snowman there baby jesus and we're gonna wrap the text to tight bring it back up to that top page and i'm not going to do every one but i want you to see that they will move like this one you just hook it there let me open it up totally so you can see the whole thing all right and then over here to the right see where i can put one up there let's move this sophie with the ballerina i don't think i right clicked her if they're not moving and doing it the way you want then right click them and i promise you they'll, they'll jump right back up there okay see there's sophie there's another one under here you can just delete it delete carl and there you go so look my top my first page has three and if you want um delete all these cards you're going to have sophie on yours but you're going to need eight of these okay and here you have to put the blank at the top and then put the name at the bottom when you print them off you just cut them and fold them and they're just there's a little card like i said i'm not going to do them all here because you don't need to watch me do that just let them float around and keep making them tight and i promise you it'll be easy to pop them in because the eight that i have there the blanks that you're going to need they'll move at first but when you move the one underneath it all just lines back up again for some reason um there may be an easier way but that's what i've been doing and um in the end it's not that hard and that's it so i'm going to give you two links below three well three you're going to have the canva link if you need it under that i'll put this template link from canva when you hit that link it goes right to that page where you saw me working you can change it up do whatever you want but those lines are already there and the words are size and you can just find your outlines and three i'm going to give you a template of the word document so that you can just plug yours in so there you go if you don't have all those things then i guess you can't do it um but anyway teach your little one their name that's really important they love their name it's such an important thing and i think sometimes parents don't realize how easy it is to teach your kids um it's just making it fun and and letting them know how important and how special they are i'm going to be doing more educational things um if you are looking at homeschooling also i have a fourth link down there for simplyschool.org it's a consult homeschool consulting firm that if you want a free phone call and just ask about it and what do i need to do i have no idea call um, go ahead and schedule a free call and they'll help you um, figure out what's the best thing for your family so thank you for watching you have a blessed day and i'll see you on the next video put a comment below let me know if there's something that you're looking for whether it's with homeschooling with um, canva with trying to make money online just put those questions below and i will do my best to answer them for you all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate it